How's it going YouTube? Kyle, right back here with a nifty tutorial for you guys on a really weird wall trick. I don't even know what it's called. I'm just going to show you guys and I'm going to try and teach you guys. That's what it looks like. It's really weird, like I said. The way I see it, it has a waffle setup, but a cartwheel off the wall. It sounds so retarded, I know. Here's how we're going to learn this. Definitely make sure you can wall flip. Definitely make sure you can waffle. Definitely, most definitely, make sure you know how to do a cartwheel. Alright, for right hand swings help, side things like that can help. But if you don't have those other basics down, this is going to be so much more challenging than you expect it to be. I'm going to use this box here. Now what this is, it's a little trapezoid you know, box. If you have a parkour academy that you train by, you can use their vault boxes. I have a slanted wall, but it can be done on any wall. All you're doing is a waffle setup with a cartwheel finish. So when you're going into it, when I do it, I waffle off my left leg. If you go off your right, that's a totally cool too. You just want to kind of start off however you do your normal waffles. However, the idea of pulling your arms, your arms aren't going to go out and pull them into the twist. They're going to go out and plant on this block. So, you're going to run, step, up and over, push off your hands and cartwheel out. If you can't go straight over, then start here by going step, planting your hands here on the corner, turning with it. It's not like kind of like a palms in motion off, and as that gets more comfortable, you'll start swinging your legs over straighter and straighter. And then the more you drill this, the easier it's going to get. That's just the point where you just drill it over and over. You just keep going, step over, get the idea of how that feels. It has to be fluid. You have to gain control. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of time falling and hurting yourself, and it's not going to be, not going to be fun. So, when you get that down, scoot your vault box in closer and closer to the wall until it's as close as it can get. Then you do the exact same thing. What you're doing here, as opposed to your normal wall flips, where you would normally push up and out, you're actually kind of undercutting. So you're not pushing off with the full force you normally would. You're still pushing off. You're just kind of doing a light push while your body will arch. And as your legs go up, your back will arch hard and you'll undercut it because you're not trying to get your hands here. You're eventually trying to work your way to get your hands on the same wall you pushed off of. So, when you get it close, do it here by pushing up and swing your feet around. And that'll teach you kind of how to undercut it. And if you land too far off, you know to undercut it more or push it up higher. Find that sweet spot, but don't let it be low. If you're too low to the ground, if you're not getting around all the way, then focus on your hips and the way your step is. If you don't have that fluid walk up, if you're jumping to it and trying to go up after that, it's not gonna happen. Get that fluid run through as you go up and over. Once you get that part, you're gonna start working on doing it on the actual wall. Now I'm doing this on a slanted wall. The technique is the exact same on a flat wall. What you wanna do though, if you're having issues, if you're still scared to go on a vertical wall, Find an incline that you can use to start kind of flat and have it progress little by little as it gets easier and easier. As you're going into it, make sure you don't push off too hard because you're not trying to travel away. You want to light press because you've got to stay close to the wall. Undercut it. I know usually undercutting is bad, especially for those of you guys who practice like the form and straight legs and pointy feet. But for this specific move, it's going to be easier if you undercut it. If you can do it without undercutting, Great, that's just undercutting is just what I do. When you plant your hands, it's essential that you get used to spotting the wall to plant your hands. When you push out, you gotta make sure that your hands stay off the wall. If you push off with your hands light, you're just gonna collapse right down. You have to get a firm press on the wall, almost like you wanna kind of wall flip into the wall to push away with your hands. It's just a matter of just walking yourself through it, getting the motions, listening to your body, paying attention to how your body responds to the way you're moving and then kind of understanding it more and more from there. And then once you guys have drilled it enough, you have the confidence, you've got the body control, it's getting easier, you then have your weird wall trigger, whatever this is. That dude, right there. Thanks a lot for watching guys, hopefully I helped. Take great care, stay positive, and here's some slow ones. See ya.
And that's pretty much it. Once you do the drills enough times and you gain the body control and you gain all the confidence you need, you have your whatever this <laughs> weird wall thing that is. Yay! That was so good. <laughs> Ha 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 